So you guys can see my screen, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Um, so uh, since I'm going to be uh, sharing my screen, I cannot see your comments. So if uh, if there if there's anything you want to speak, just speak up or raise your hands. Okay, uh, let's start. So my name is Kirod and uh, today is going to be our first session of the week and uh, no, our, our first uh, tutorial of the week actually so we're just going to have a highlight about stock market and stock market data and stock market data analysis so let's get right to it so just to give you a highlight it's not uh, this project is not uh, aimed at uh, making us or making uh, stock market experts, but just to have a highlight, stock market is uh, a network of where uh, shares of companies and other financial instruments are bought and sold. So um, in Ethiopia, I don't think there's uh, a stock market, uh, but I think they are working on it, but yeah so that's where you buy stocks or uh, share stock um, uh, sell stocks on the stock market and uh, investors and traders uh, buy and sell stock on that network so yeah it is a place uh, where most companies raise uh, raise uh, especially for start startups and even large companies get their uh, money to start expand uh, their business or pay Debts. So yeah, and the last point about the stock mar market is that uh, all the companies that are li listed in the stock market are public. So their financial. Uh, so anyone, anyone who has the money and who has interest in buying and selling the stocks is welcome. So there are. Uh, moving on to the market the stock market data so uh, typically we can use we can find uh, four types of uh, data the first one is historical price historical price means uh, the stock market opens at a specific uh, time and closes at a specific time of the day for each day every day so uh, the historical price includes the opening which means the price when the stock market opens for a specific stock of, of course so let's say if the stock opens at uh, 6 a.m in the morning so the historical price opening means uh, the opening price means uh, for example let's say we want to buy apple stocks so the opening means what is the price of the apple stock at 6 a.m in the morning so the high and the low means throughout the day it's going it's continuously moving so what is the peak high and the peak low and the closing price means uh, the end uh, when the day ends or the stock mar market closes what was the price of that stock so uh, we use uh, we can uh, find this historical price uh, data and the next one is the fundamental data uh, this means just the income statement the balance sheet the revenue the net income and yeah so just to uh, assess the financial health of the company so how much debt does it have how much cash, cash in hand does it have or how much uh, uh, return on equity uh, did it have uh, and so on so yeah and the next one is technical data uh, so just uh, it's it means the historical price and the volume of data uh, and we use this data to predict the future of that stock so we will see how we're going to do that uh, in the next slides 
And the last one is, uh, which is more more closely related to use uh, to the project, is the news and sentiment data. So this a type of data involves the news articles, short social media posts that may mention the stock or the stock, the specific company, and it's just engage the investor in a sentiment uh, towards the stock. So the sentiment could be a positive or a negative or even a neutral. But yeah. So where can we find this data is uh, nor normally, there are companies that sell this uh, financial data of the, the stock. So it can be for free or it can be at a price. But yeah, Yahoo Finance, Google Finance, and Bloomberg are the famous uh, sites that you can find uh, financial data of the stock or the stock market uh, that you are looking for. The next is uh, stock exchanges. So stock exchanges uh, are for free, actually. Uh, so some examples are New York Stock Exchange and others. Yeah, historical price. So you can find the historical price of the stock and others. And the last one is the company site. So uh, on the company website, you can find these uh, financial per performance indicators, as we have discussed earlier. Uh, yeah just the fundamental data you can find from the company's website. So moving on to the uh, stock market analysis. So stock mar market analysis is just uh, analyzing the stock market. Uh, and this helps the investors or anyone who is lo looking to get into stock market uh, to see which company to invest in or which company, which stock to buy or which stock to sell. And yeah, uh, these decisions are made based on the analysis we get uh, from the stock. So uh, methods, uh, it's a method that investors or traders use to evaluate and investigate a particular trading instrument, sector or stock just to sell and buy so you can decide to buy or to sell that specific stock depending you know on your an analysis so yeah stock market analysis helps us to evaluate the uh, investment options opportunities uh, identify the trade and pattern of the market we will see how we can do this and the last one make informed investments based on that data so uh, if this is it so uh, there are typically two types of analysis, uh, fundamental and technical analysis. So the first one, fundamental analysis, involves uh, evaluating the financial uh, health of the company. So it focuses on intrinsic value of the company. So normally you would um, just analyze the financial health of the company, but in some uh, cases, you might also need to investigate the management team, the competitive advantage, so yeah, and the future growth aspects. But these three are uh, uh, more harder uh, to investigate or analyze because they are quantitative. And yeah, it shows whether or not the current price uh, of the current stock, uh, sorry, yeah, the current price of the stock of the company reflects the future value of the company. Uh, so what this means is uh, you're gonna, uh, every stock has a, a price, right? So by fundamental analysis, by analyzing it, you will see if it is fit uh, for the future value of the company. So are you going to be having, uh, is it going to grow or is it going to decline? Uh, you can find this, uh, results by doing fundamental analysis. So, uh, so data source for fundamental analysis, it, the major one is financial statements or financial data, annual reports, industry report, and news articles. So this is one the sentiment analysis, the last one. And the key metrics are earning per ratio, uh, return on equity. So how much did you get returned it? 
for the right for the amount of investment you made debt to equity ratio and how this means how much of the equity or the uh, wealth of the company is debt and how many are not profit margin and growth rate yeah so by analyzing this uh, data you can find uh, which company is more attractive or which is which company is more suited for investment and the last one is technical analysis so uh, this one is actually more interesting so uh, technical analysis focuses on historical price and volume data of the stock so what this means is just to sum it all up so this is what it means so uh, the technical analysis of a stock market relies on these three pr principles. So the first principle is uh, the market knows it all. So te technical analysis considers that all the factors affecting the company are priced into a security. So everything on the market is, uh, it duplicates itself. So price follows the trend. So once a trend is established, the future price of the Trend to follow the direction of the trend. So, uh, so what this means is, once there is a, tra a trend of a company, it will follow. So, uh, both of these uh, points actually are, are reflected upon the last one. So, history is likely to repeat itself. So, once you find a pattern or a trend, like it means. Uh, for example, if you follow uh, the trend of the Apple uh, stock, if it matches uh, some other company's trend, uh, it's more li likely to be the same outcome. So it will uh, fall to the like the, on the same points and it will grow on the same points. So it literally means uh, that one. So history is likely to repeat itself. So involves using chart this uh, pattern to analyze the movement of the market and study the, the trends so it was a very fast and a very short introduction i hope it wasn't uh, that much trouble so uh, the floor is yours to question to ask your questions and it could be uh, related to the not related to this tutorial it can be related to the challenge so uh, just open your mics and let's talk Thank you. Okay, so I, 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 like, is everything clear or there are no questions? If there are no questions, just uh, give me a thumbs up and we can end this call. Okay, uh, two people seems to have understood it. So what about the rest? Okay, okay uh, just a quick reminder. Okay, uh, okay, if the, if it's clear, let me just start the recording and